Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh and a very good day everyone. Um, today I'm going to explain to you about your um, final assessment, which is your video critic. So I would like you to listen to my explanation uh, attentively so that you know on how to go about doing this assessment. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm so sorry if let's say my voice is not really that good because I'm having this very bad cough. OK, so this slide helps you to understand on how to go about doing your assessment number four, which is your video critique. Now there are three parts in this slide. The first part is we'll be looking at what to do before doing the assignment and what to do while you are doing the assignment and what to do after you have completed the assignment. Yeah. So we'll start with the one before. Now, in order for you to do this assignment, you need to choose a movie that revolves around workplace setting and issues. In that workplace setting and issues. If you're going to watch so movies like cartoons, I don't want. Movies, uh, science fiction, I don't want. OK, it has to be real life movies. There are many real life movies out there. Trust me. So go and get one. And it has to do with workplace setting and issues. If issues are very much similar to workplace, tapi it happens at home, tak nak. It has to be in a workplace. Tapi then again, workplace not necessarily has to be in the office. It can be just anywhere depending on your job. For example, if you're a doctor, it will be in the hospital. If you are a surgeon, it will be in the uh, Dewan Bedah, contohnya. Or if you're a policeman, it will be in the police station. Ke. If you're a detective, then it will be at the crime scene. So, berbeza. The setting to berbeza. Tapi, I don't want uh, you're a doctor, tapi you identify scene to nanti later dekat rumah dia. Tak nak. Because that is at home. We want to talk about things that happens at the workplace. Yeah. And make sure that there are the banyak lah since ka workplace too. Uh, that means you have to watch the movies first lah. And eh? make sure that it has at least like it, it contains few scenes in the ka workplace too. Now, this theme will help you to analyze critical incidents in the movie easier. Yeah. So I want you to choose movie too between 2022 to 2023. I repeat, yeah, tahun 2022 hingga 2023. Below than 2022, I don't want. And the movie has to have workplace scenes, lah, macam saya cakap tadi. And you should be able to identify six critical incidents dalam movie tersebut. Kalau you tak sure eh, critical incidents tu apa, don't worry, later I'll explain to you. Tapi you should be able to identify six different critical incidents. Kalau, let's say, uh, you are doing in pair. Kalau mana yang buat group of three, dia kena nine. Kenapa? Because everyone has to present three different critical incidents. Simple je. So kalau you group of three, three times three, nine lah. Kalau you group of two, three times two is six, okay? And this is the most important part. You cannot be choosing the same movie. So kalau dalam kelas kita ada seven ke eight pairs ke, it has to be eight different movies, seven different movies, ten different movies. Cannot be the same movie. Are we clear? Eh? I hope we are clear on this, yeah? Now, once you have chosen the movies, you have gone through the movie, you have watched the movie and you, you think and you feel that it contains a lot of working scenes or workplace scenes and you, you think that you should be able to identify that six or nine critical incidents, then you go to this link and then you update your movie. First come, first serve lah. So, kalau you dah tengok movie tu and then you nak update, tengok orang lain dah tulis dah movie tu. Go and choose other movies. Repeat the same process eh. Repeat the same process. Watch, make sure the six critical incidents are so, about first come, first serve and cannot be the same movie. Yeah? And in order for you to access this uh, Google spreadsheet, ni, you have to use your UITM Gmail. All right, you have to use your UITM Gmail again, UITM Gmail. Now, um, I will be sharing this link until later in our Telegram group. Then I need to approve your movie. So once you have updated, I'll go through the movie. I won't be watching the movie, but if I have watched the movies, that would be good. Lah. That means I understand whether or not the movie suits with this uh, assessment. Kalau saya tak watch the movies pun, I'll just, you know, uh, briefly read the synopsis just to ensure that the movie suits ataupun fits for this task. Yeah? Uh, so if it is once I've given my green light, then you move on to step number three. What is step number three? You watch the movie. Now, this time around, you watch the movie betul-betul. Okay, macam yang the first type, first round tu, you watch the movie just to make sure they are the workplace scenes, they are the critical incidents tu lah. But this time around, you watch the movies critically. So, tu kita panggil video critic. It has to be critical. Watch the movies critically. That means you need to identify six or 
uh, nine critical incidents. Keningan eh, six or nine critical incidents. Alright, uh, kalau nine tu group of three lah, six tu group of two. Not sure apa critical incidents so, tu. Ni yang kita nak masuk. Okay, saya nak terangkan. So now this is before doing the assignment eh. Now you nak buat assignment tu. So nak buat assignment ni, what do you need to do? First thing first, you need to present in the classroom. You will be presenting in week 13 or 14. I will decide nanti the sequence. Your presentation should consist of what? PowerPoint slide, simple je. Pakai PowerPoint slides. Tak payah nggak ada pakai benda-benda lain. Alright, just use PowerPoint slides. And so now, we'll start with preparing the slide. And in order to prepare the slide, you need to know two things. The first one, what is needed in the slide. And number two, apa itu critical incident. Okay, we'll start with the first one. Apa yang diperlukan dalam slide? What is needed in your slide? Your slide should consist, number one, the front cover. One slide saja, yeah? where you put the title of the movie, your name, your student ID, ELC 650, the name of the assessment, assessment number four, video critic. And then nak letak gambar movie itu pun apa boleh. One slide only. Slide number two, the summary of the movie. Now, don't go and, and copy paste the synopsis uh, from the internet. I don't want. I want you to watch the movies. You give your own summary of the movies. But of course, if you need to refer to the internet, names ke tempat ke apa ke, okay, boleh faham. Tapi when you do the summary tu, I want it purely from you because you have watched the movie. Alright, siapa yang ambil sinopsis ke mana ke, if I notice, I caught right-handed, that's it, I'll deduct marks, yeah. And critical incidents lah, you have to present critical incidents. Kalau you are, you buat pair, that means you have six critical incidents, that means six slides. But one critical incident, one slide. Kalau you buat group of three, then nine critical, uh, nine slides because nine critical incidents. So all in all, kalau you buat pair, six slides for critical incident, one slide for summary and one slide for front cover, eight slides. Kalau group of three, 11 slides lah because nine plus three plus, eh, sorry, nine plus one plus one, 11. Eh? And do not exceed the number of slides mentioned above. Kalau you pair, not more than eight slides. Kalau you group of three, not more than 11 slides. Ingat ni. Now let's talk about what critical incident. So you nak kena identify critical incident tu. So critical incident is an incident that contains significant workplace value lesson learned throughout the semester by ELC 650. So you belajar macam-macam. We talk, we have learned about small talk, negotiation, giving compliments, safe face. You're not sure about this? Go and refer the notes that I have shared with you. Semua dekat dalam tu. Every single part of workplace, they are called critical incident. So let, let's just say that you identify small talk dalam one of the scene dalam scene tu scene tu mungkin satu scene dia ada small talk and then lepas tu dia move on to negotiation pula tapi scene yang sama tak mengapa alright start dengan small talk dulu so you identify so dah ada dah satu small talk and then next scene ada cerita pasal negotiation pula tapi dekat tempat kerja sebab small talk can also happen at home but home is not a workplace It has to be tempat kerja Alright, always remember that. Negotiation pun sama, giving whatever critical incidents tu, you, it has to be at the workplace. Yeah? So tu saya kata kena tengok movie tu betul-betul. Make sure ada banyak lah, ada good enough, enough workplace settings or scenes for you to identify critical incident. Ni contoh saya kasih sampai empat. You nak tahu lagi, you have to go and read my slides tu and search for more lah. Tapi kadang-kadang susah nak cari semua uh, six different critical incidents. So katakan you jumpa small talk first scene and then last scene pun ada small talk okay boleh tapi jangan semua from one until six small talk saja tak boleh kalau setakat satu dua sama critical incident but different scenes acceptable eh sama critical incident different scenes acceptable tapi jangan small talk small talk small talk sampai six i don't want that okay uh, kalau jumpa small talk ataupun scene yang sama tapi it contains more than one critical incident ada small talk ada negotiation negotiation pun acceptable ataupun small talk tu ada kat first scene and kat scene yang ketiga pun ada juga small talk tapi di different scene pun saya accept dia jadi dua lah bukan satu dia jadi dua tapi ingat janganlah banyak small talk sampai enam enam you cerita pasal small talk tak nak kita ada banyak negotiation giving compliments if you baca note saya tu semua ada kat situ alright so just identify six kalau nak senang because there are pair, uh, you are doing in pairs each of you identify tiga je lah Ah, uh, each of you identify tiga. Senang ya. Eh? 
So identify the critical incident in the movie and screenshot the scene that has a critical incident. Kena screenshot. Tapi tak payah buat sampai empat. I want you to screenshot dua sahaja scene tu. Dua scene tu. And dekat setiap, make sure ada subtitles in English. Subtitles in English tak nak. Movie tu mesti ada subtitles in English. Supaya when you screenshot subtitles kat bawah tu ada. Nanti kita tengok contoh. Kejap lagi saya tunjuk. And type your points underneath the screenshots. Your points should consist apa? Bawah screenshot tu nanti masih ada tiga benda. First, summary of the scene. Not summary of the movie, scene tu saja. Apa summary dia? Kedua, apa critical incident yang you nak tunjuk, tunjulkan dekat sini? And the third one, elaboration of the critical incidents. Ni tiga benda. So let's see, let's have a look at the given example here. So this is basically from a movie, Erin Brokovic. Okay, and then um, there's this one scene where these two lawyers are negotiating. So negotiation, and they're both lawyers. And in this, this in the office, lawyer office. So semua ada kat sini lah, betul lah, menepati apa yang saya cerita tadi. So I, I screenshot dua sahaja. I screenshot two sahaja. And you see dekat bahagian bawah tu, ada dia punya subtitles in English. Alright, so I screenshot both and I have the subtitles done. And then underneath these two scenes or screenshots, ni, I have what is the critical incident. So this is negotiation. What is the synopsis of the scene? Uh, this is the synopsis. The scene is about at an area negotiating, blah, 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 blah. Explanation of the critical incidents. Must be a little bit reflective. Can I reflect dengan diri sendiri? This scene clearly shows how firm and united at... Uh, and Erin are ensuring the resident blah blah blah. This critical incident tells us, uh, nampak, that a neg that in a negotiation we should not simply bow to any offer made by the other party. We must think clearly and logic. Ini reflection because you have watched the movie, you identify the negotiation. You must be able to explain and be reflective in your explanation. Ini contoh. Ini baru satu critical incidents. Repeat process yang sama untuk the remaining five critical incidents ataupun the remaining eight critical incidents depending you buat pair ke ataupun group of three. Okay. Kita dah, kita ikut sama eh pair yang masa assignment number one tu. <coughs> okay. Uh, sama sahaja. So bila you pergi kat situ, it's, kalau yang masa assessment number one you dah pair memang pair lah. Kalau assessment number one you memang group of three, you dah group of three. Kita ikut yang itu, right? Nanti you pergi dekat Google Sheet tu, nampak it's the same pair yang you buat hari tu. Okay? Uh, ni contoh dia. Contoh pun saya dah kasih. Kalau you buat silap tak ikut, siap. So once you have prepared the slides, you need to practice your presentation. Your presentation 10 to 15 minutes per pair. Alright, 10 to 15 minutes. Don't go beyond than that. I don't want you to drag. Alright, because uh, you are the 11 slides ataupun, uh, ataupun 8 slides depending lah kan. Uh, uh, for 8 pack atau tu tak banyak slides. So tak payah nak drag-drag eh. And you'll be presenting in week 13 or 14. Nanti sequence tu saya akan tentukan. And when presenting, and another thing is, make sure you wear something presentable. Yeah. Bukan pakai collar-collar biasa. This is your presentation. Tak perlu meriah pun, tapi presentable. Nampak macam you nak do presentation. Okay. And everyone should be coming for, I mean, during week 13 and 14. Mesti datang, wajib. Although you are presenting in week 13, you ingat week 14 tak payah datang, habis present tak, you still have to come. Because this is a presentation, a presentation requires audience. Alright. You still have to come. Okay, that is all. Thank you.